truly, truly, truly do love you. And I know that you've been heartbroken, going through so much long suffering, going through so much pain, bearing it all, carrying your cross, not even complaining about all the persecution, all the persecutors against you. I know you feel like you cannot trust anyone, not even with the truth, but you can. Put your trust in me, saith the Lord. You were made in the image and likeness of God and never forget, you can always put your trust in God. That is where your trust belongs anyway. It's no need to lie to God because God already knows. Seek out more truth within God. God will send the individuals your way that will help you, that can handle your truth. Doesn't have to be a family member or a friend. God will send strangers your way. God will send angels your way in the form of a beautiful person. All you have to do is put your trust in God. You don't have to worry about people lying to you. Because when you sync up with God and put your trust in God, no one can lie to you. No one can hurt you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper because you trust in God you don't have to worry about understanding what the next person is thinking because you lean on God's understanding this is for you this is for you in the morning this is for you in the afternoon this is for you at night God is here keep putting your trust in God Keep putting your trust in what Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our personal Lord and Savior, has taught us. Keep putting your trust in the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will never, never lie to you. Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our Savior, will never lie to you. Never let you down. Always remember these things. So when you deal with society, if you open your eyes up and see that everyone was made in the image and in the likeness of God, just how you are, then you will understand that you are putting your trust in God and not the next man, not the next woman. And then you will go about and you will have a great day no matter what anyone says to you, if God does not say you need to respond back to that person, don't reply. Just because they say something negative to you, if God didn't give you the sense of an urge to reply, then don't. Go with your first mind. That is God speaking to you. Keep your trust where it belongs. Only with God and the people that God has placed in your life, the ones that love you and you know that are filled with a pure heart and that God has sent for you. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. Enjoy your day and give God praise all day long, all throughout the day. And remember, plan strategically for your life or life will strategically plan for you. Amen.